how do you measure the equilibrium constant? Well, here we have a, a sort of generic equilibrium for an acid, and equilibrium, the expression for the equilibrium constant is, is given by this. So in order to, to get a numerical value uh, for k here, what you typically do is uh, you measure uh, something, usually spectroscopically, um, you measure something that depends on the, the concentration uh, of one of the partners. So in this particular case, it turns out that um, you can measure the, spectroscopically, you can measure the concentration of A minus. That's the easiest to measure. All right, so this A minus species absorbs uh, light at this particular wavelength. Okay. So at high pH, when you have a lot of this, right, you, get a, you get a relatively big absorption peak. But when you lower the pH, right, and you get less and less of this, and more and more of this, then the peak drops. And the height of the peak, or the area under the peak, is proportional to the concentration. So this emission, fluorescence emission, in this particular case, Right, is a measure of the concentration of this. So you can plot this as a function of pH or, or concentration of this. Right? And if you, if you do that, you get this particular curve here. Right? So at low pH, you have very little of this. At high pH, you have a lot of this. And so this is basically, this is basically a measure of the concentration. So you can rewrite the equilibrium constant here to give you this expression for the fraction of the molecules that is in the negative, in the ion state, in the deprotonated state. Okay, so that expression is given here. It's the concentration of A minus divided by the total concentration of A. So A is either A minus, it's either deprotonated or protonated. So this will go, the lowest value this can have is zero, when you have zero of this, and the highest value this can have is one, when you have 100% of this. Okay, and then you can do some algebra where you simply rewrite this as a function of the concentration of protons and K. So you get this expression by solving this expression here for the concentration of H. And again, you can rearrange this with some algebra to get this expression here. Okay, so this fraction here is given by this expression. When this expression is a half, right, then that means that the concentration of protons must be equal to uh, the equilibrium constant. Okay, so the way you get the equilibrium constant is you look at the fraction that is deprotonated, you find a point at which that fraction is a half, so it's halfway from here down to here, right? that's this point, and then you go down and say, okay, this concentration is the equilibrium constant. In this particular case, we have a log scale, right? so pH is minus log the concentration of protons, so what we have here is minus log k, and that is about 6.3. So I tried to estimate that based on this um, figure. Okay, so that's how I measure k. I do these measurements that give me the concentration of one of the species. I go to the halfway point where I have an equal amount, um, or 50%, of the molecules is in the deprotonated state, and I get K by reading it off here. Okay, so if I have minus log K equals to 6.3, what is delta G standard for this reaction? 
at 25 degrees Celsius. So press the pause button and when you think the that you have the right answer then press play. Ready? Okay. So the answer is B, 36. How do we get that? Well, if minus log k is 6.3, then k has to be equal to 10 to the minus 6.3. Right? I simply solve this little equation for k. Okay, so that's roughly 10 to the minus 6, and that's that will then correspond to about 36 kilojoules per mole, okay, which is this answer here. Uh, I can also, if I want the exact answer, I can plug in my, uh, the gas constant value and the temperature in Kelvin. And in this particular case, my estimation is, is very close to the exact answer to three significant figures. So the conclusion here is that uh, in general, you don't measure delta G standard directly. What you almost always do is you measure the equilibrium constant, and from that you compute delta G standard using this equation.